You are welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about Glybore, the Gliben climate. Please take note. Don't give this medication in elderly. So not in elderly, please. Gliben climate could come under different names depending on your country and the brand that's available. It could be glibenclamine, the generic name, or glyburide, that is the most common brand name. Glynase is common in United States. Diabeta is another very common one across the globe. Apple glyburide, Pro glyburide, Sandoz glyburide, Teva glyburide, or PMS glyburide, and so on. This medication, that is glimbeclamide, belongs to the class of medications known as sovonylurids. It is an oral hypoglycemic agent, or some people will simply define this as anti-diabetic agent. It can appear in various forms, in form of tablet for oral usage as generic, and the dose could be 1.25 milligram, 1.5 milligram, 2.5, 3, 5, or 6 milligram. Could be glynase, that is glynase tablet for oral use as 1.5, 3, or 6 milligram. It could be diabetes tablet for oral usage as 2.5 or 5 milligram, or a glycon at 5 milligram. Still on various forms under which we can find this medication, it could be micronized glyburate. I'll talk more about that later on, because micronized contains smaller particles for easy absorption. And that is why the dosage is quite different from the non-micronized. So that glyburate, the micronized, could be 1.25 mg up to 6 mg. The non-micronized glyburate could be from 5 mg to 20 mg. These will be the regular non-micronized. They are larger, and then you can give them a larger doses. They have poor absorption when compared to the micronized. And then the duration of action, of course, will also vary. In other words, the micronized will act faster and could know exact hypoglycemic effect more profoundly within a shorter period of time compared to non-micronized glyburate. Administration. You can administer this medication with food and at the same time each day. Once daily dosing is very common, but can be twice daily, that is divided into two doses. If we are dealing with higher doses, for example, in non-micronized glyburate up to 10 mg, then we have to give this as 5 mg twice daily. In two divided doses, if we're dealing with the micronized glyburate, anything greater than 6 mg, we have to give it two times daily. Uses. Useful in type 2 diabetes mellitus or non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. Adverse reactions. Endocrine system. Here, we might be dealing with hypoglycemia. Remember, we are giving this medication for type 2 diabetes mellitus so that it can bring down the glucose level, right? But that may be in excess and Severe apoglycemia is very possible right here. Gastrointestinal tract could give us epigastric phonics, heartburn, and nausea. And there may be hypersensitivity reaction. The central nervous system could give us a sovereign like reaction. And when we check the metabolic panel, we might have aponeutremia and all the features of increased weight. Renal system can give us mind diuresis and hematology could reveal hemolytic anemia. So someone is on this medication for a long time and you've not done complete blood count, you're not helping. There might be anemia. 
hepatic system could give out to a study jaundice and hepatic failure or even hepatitis, angioedema, and atrage. Other side effects or adverse reactions could be blood vision, erythema or T forming, exfoliative dermatitis, myalgias, vasculitis, increase around transaminase, contraindication. Have sensitivity to glyburide or any sulfonylurea or sulfonamide. Anyone that is sensitive to sulfonamide cannot take sulfonylurea and vice versa. We don't give this medication in type 1 diabetes mellitus, not in diabetes ketoacidosis. Person time use at the same time is not allowed. Surgery, we don't give this medication when the patient is you now going to undergo elective surgery. In severe infections, no. We rather give insulin in the face of surgery in DKA in type 1, severe infections, yes. In traumatic situation, jaundice and breastfeeding or renal failure, no. Because in the face of renal failure, there might be accumulation of metabolites leading to severe hypoglycemia. One, please don't give this medication in my grandfather, so not in elderly. And it might increase cardiovascular mortality. So in anyone with cardiovascular diseases, be careful. Don't let there be that excitement to prescribe this medication in that. It can lead to severe hypoglycemia, and that will be very worse in elderly. So, phonomine allergy is equivalent to salmonellaria allergy. So, anyone with history of sensitivity to septra must not take any salmonellaria. Immediate release formulation is the only type that must be used in anyone who has undergone bariatric surgery. In anyone already diagnosed with GCSPD deficiency, don't give labora because there will be increased hemolysis in GCSPD deficiency. Still on one, we have to know the difference between the micronized and the non-micronized glabora. Maybe I should have a separate presentation on that, but the brief Conclusion on that right now is the micronized will act faster, lower dosage, and more hypoglycemic effects within shorter period when compared to the larger non-micronized, whose onset of action is a bit slower, and you can give higher dosage. Metabolized will accumulate in renal failure, leading to more hypoglycemia. When you cannot use glyburide like in stressful conditions, in DKA, in type 1, in infection or surgery, use insulin. As diabetes mellitus progresses, more beetle cells are damaged. Hence, the efficacy of these medications will decrease with prolonged usage. In other words, if this patient has been on this medication for years, don't expect the same results today like five or ten years ago. Drug drug interaction. Though so most of the times I will leave this out for you and your pharmacist or clinical pharmacologist. Today I'll do something different. Please remember, alcohol should not be taken when you are taking glyburate. And when you do that, you have the sovereign like reactions. Still go ahead and discuss your pharmacist because the list of drug drug interaction is pretty long. I cannot go through that. Better still, make use of the endocrinologist around you. In pregnancy, no, we don't use glyburate. Instead, we use insulin. So elderly patient, pregnant patient, Type 1 diabetes mellitus, DKA, no glyburate. Monitoring. Of course, we monitor for signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. Remember, 
I have published separate presentations on hypoglycemia right here. So you can check my channel for them. I think I have about three on, on hypoglycemia alone. Remember, we are going to first of all start with adrenergic symptoms of hypoglycemia, then neuroglycopenic symptoms. So check out for signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia in this patient. Remember your random blood sugar, or if you have luxury, the fasting blood sugar should be done. And of course, hemoglobin A1C every three months. Hemoglobin A1C might not be every three months if the DM is well controlled. So you can extend it to about every six months. Examples of where and when we can use glyburide will include the following. We can use the conventional or non micronized glyburide in form of tablet like diabeta per aura, 2.5 milligram. But you can start low, as low as 1.25 milligram, and you give that with breakfast. Then we have to be monitoring the blood glucose, that is very essential. And we increase about 1.25 milligram per day every two weeks. The maximum dose we can give is 10 milligram twice daily. Lastly, we can give micronine stabilized, that is granules per tab, very low dose, that is 0 0.5 milligram per hour once daily, while we keep on checking the glucose level to monitor how well we're doing. We can increase that by 1.5 milligram per hour once daily, every one to two weeks interval based on the value of the glucose. The maximum dose we can give is six milligram. When we give that, it should be two divided doses. That is three milligram twice daily, or six milligram BID. But please, that will be determined by the level of glucose or the side effects. And with that, I've come to the end of this presentation. Remember to share. Remember to subscribe. I appreciate it.